Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to use personal toolbar in Excel Living Display options. It's a new feature from the Microsoft and it's in a preview mode as of now. Excel Riven display option can be accessed by clicking on the down arrow available at the end of this ribbon. Here you can see it is available here. This is Riven layout option. You can press Ctrl F1 to collapse or expand this ribbon. Ctrl F1. Then here you can see it is collapsing or displaying. Let me show you all the options available here. We have this new feature which is personal toolbar. We'll discuss about this. Before that, I'll show you the other more options. Here you can see we have checked this always so. So that is the reason it is showing the Excel ribbon. If I will select so tabs only, then it will show the tabs only. Home, insert, draw page layout the benefit of this tabs only is you have more space here in your spreadsheet to see it if you are creating any excel report or dashboard and you want to show the more content on your excel sheet you can keep your tabs like this you can use the control f1 or even you can double click on any tab to show this again and double click again to make it hidden we have another option here let's see this which is full screen mode you can put your excel in full screen mode here you can see we don't have any excel tab now like home insert or developer tab so you have more space to show your content in your spreadsheet you can simply click anywhere then that will be visible quickly and you can do the activity whatever you want to do and when you click again on your seat again will be in full screen mode all right to come out from the full screen mode you can easily go to the more option and you can say always so all right now i will quickly show you what is personal toolbar which is the new feature so personal toolbar is the toolbar which will look like this here we can keep whatever commands or option we use frequently so that we can have the access of that particular command for example i want to keep the conditional formatting and data validation together here as we know conditional formatting available in the home tab here i can simply right click and say add to personal toolbar preview here you can see conditional formatting is added now i'll go to the data tab and i'll go to the data validation i'll say right click and add to personal toolbar preview so we have the conditional formatting and data validation together if we want to use the conditional formatting we can simply click here and we can use the conditional formatting whatever we want and if we want to apply the data validation, we can simply click here to open the data validation. As we know, there are a lot of features in the Microsoft Excel available on the different tabs, but you might use few of them regularly. You can create a personal toolbar and you can keep only relevant commands or tabs. Even you can add the command from the Excel add-ins. For example, if you are using PK's utility tool 2.0, you can add any command so let's say i'm saying i generally use this quick formatting so i can simply right click and add to personal toolbar or if i generally use random generator i will add to personal toolbar here we can see it is available now let's say i'm going to see two here i have some data i want to quickly format this i can use this quick formatting from here i don't need to go to PK's utility tool again in the selection then I'll select this so rather than going inside that you can simply click and that will be formatted all right friends PK's utility tool is absolutely free you can download it from my website I'm giving the download link in video description also I have given a lot of features there you can use those features to improve your productivity in Microsoft Excel all right now to remove this personal toolbar you can simply come to the classic and that classic view will be visible so from here you can toggle this you can customize the personal toolbar in customize option also go to the customize in the more options and that will be available here you can go to the excel options also by pressing alt t o or you can go from the files here we have new option that is customized toolbar 
in the layout just select the personal toolbar then here you can see we have all the option which we have added you can change the position you want to move this up move this down or you can remove this let's say i want to remove the condition formatting select and remove using this remove button you can add the new functionality also from here or you can choose not in commands or even you can choose from the macros all right friends so you can quickly add or remove the command friends to make the most of this personal toolbar it is important to follow the best practice when you are customizing the toolbar it should include frequently used commands and options only so that you can make the most of it another thing is you should review those commands regularly and you can change as per the change in your work all right friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching